Welcome back to another video. My name is Michael. I'm the founder of Buffalo Performance and Analysis, where we combine sports science, strength, conditioning, and sports performance to give coaches the tools necessary to build the next level of elite athletes. In this video, we're using R to use the group by, the rolling mean, and the case when functions to get a better look at our data. So when we're looking at uh, data in a team setting, we're going to have a lot of different athletes over the course of some span of time. So if we do an average or if we're looking at the standard deviation or a correlation between two uh, variables, that's looking at the entire team. Uh, when we use the group by function in R, we're able to break it down and take a look uh, at each athlete and that correlation or that average or that minimum or maximum value for that uh, athlete within a certain variable. So if I look at this first couple lines of code, we're looking at this uh, rolling average data frame and I want to summarize where we're looking at the max RPE, the mean RPE, and the minimum RPE. And that's going to be for the entire team. So when I run these first uh, four lines of code, it's just going to return the team average, the team max, and the team minimum. But that doesn't really give me a good understanding of the data. So the, what I can add using R is going to be just this one line right here, the group by, and we're grouping it by the athlete's name. So now when I run these, uh, these five lines of code here with the group by function added in, now it gives us a look uh, at all the different athletes, right? So I, I just have a small data frame here uh, for athletes. So I have Ian, Joseph, Lucas, and Matt. And now that gives me the max, the, the mean, and the minimum for each one of those athletes. And that's gonna give me a, a better look at uh, each athlete and their different values within, for this example, RPE. So moving on, we can also utilize the group by function when we're looking at something like a correlation coefficient. Uh, so if I run the correlation coefficient between RPE and sleep, you know, for the entire team, we see that there's a negative 0 0.0168 uh, correlation between RPE and sleep. But again, that's for the entire team. So by adding in that, that line group by name, I can look at it and see for each athlete what is the correlation coefficient between RPE and sleep. So now here, once I've ran these lines of code, I can see for Ian, Joseph, Lucas, and Matt, I can see their individual correlation coefficient between RPE and sleep. So by utilizing the group by function for a correlation coefficient, I can see individual differences between the relationship between RPE and sleep. So we know in sports that accumulation of load over time is a big indicator of injuries. So we can actually use a function in R called roll mean to see a moving average over time. So in this instance, we're gonna utilize the group by function, the mutate function, and the roll mean to understand the moving average for each athlete. So kind of breaking it down here, we're utilizing group by uh, the name so we can see the moving average for each athlete. Then we're going to mutate, so we're adding a new column. We're going to call it R underscore rolling two. And what we wanted to use is the roll mean, which is going to be the moving average. And we want to do a rolling average of the RPE. And we want to do this over the course of three days. So um, I have it set to align right. So what that means is the, uh, the data point that it's using, it's going to use that one as number one, the day previous as number two, and the day before that one as day number three. So it's looking at present day and then T minus two, or day minus two really. Uh, and that's by us utilizing align equals right. Um, so when I run these lines of code here, we see that it runs in our console below, and then view this moving average data frame here. So because it's utilizing three days, the first two days are going to be NAs because you can't average data that you do not have. So we scroll down and we look at the next, uh, this is going to be the third day here. And now this is going to give us the moving average of each athlete over time. So this gives us a better understanding of how their RPE is actually changing. So on one day, if their RPE is super low or super high, 
we can take a look at their rolling average or their moving average to see uh, a more accurate understanding of how their RPE has been changing uh, over the last three days. The last thing I want to look at today is the case when function. So the case when function is kind of similar to an if else, but it gives us a lot more capabilities when we're looking at uh, multiple conditions that need to be met. So again, we're going to utilize the mutate function. We're calling on the rolling average data frame. Uh, we want to look, we want to create a new column and we're going to call it R underscore risk. And then we're going to utilize the case when function. So when the RPE is greater than seven, we want to return high risk. If the RPE is above five, so five, six, uh, five or six, we want it to return moderate risk. And then for everything else, uh, we want it to return low risk. So if I run these lines of code here and then view, now we see that if the RPE is above seven, high risk. It's above five, it's a moderate risk, and so on and so forth. A big thing that we need to note is that this is greater than, not greater than or equal to. So any value above seven, so eight, nine, or 10, it's gonna return high risk. Um, these are some really, really important functions that we can utilize in R when we're looking at data from the team setting. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up and let me know what kind of content you'd like to see in the future. Thanks.